All right, guys, we're here in the grow room. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a comparison here of this PhotoBio power meter from Phantom versus the PhotoTone app on iPhone. I did it yesterday. Uh, well, first, I tested this PhotoBio uh, power meter against the Apogee meter, which was almost 600 bucks. This was extremely close. So I'll post the screenshots in here just so you can see it. Um, when I posted the results from the app on the iPhone, um, they were very off. They were like 150 par above. Uh, so I posted the results here on Reddit. A couple people were asking if I had the right paper. Um, an app from the, or a developer from the app suggested that this 96 bright that I had is too uh, thick, bright, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But he asked if I could switch over to this 20 pound 92 bright. Um, which he said would give a better result. If you go on the iPhone app, um, it tells you to use 22 pound paper. Um, so I bought that just in case. I feel like from the, I was there, I might as well do the test. Um, we're going to be doing, we're going to be using the Spider Farmer SF 4000 light. I'll just keep it at a uh, 60%, and then we'll place both my phone and the power meter on the brute can here and. Uh, Let's see what we get. So first, let's see what uh, let's see what the fans read. All right, so we got about. I don't want to get out of the way here. The camera about 350. So I need to. Uh, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna pull these out here and make my diffusers because a diffuser is required. For this app so we'll do a diffuser on each one and then uh, I'll be right back all right so first we have the original paper that I had which is the uh, 20 pound 96 bright and true red uh, let's see what we got here so the par meter is reading 350 where my iPhone is reading 477 that's at 60% brightness if I turn it up to a hundred we got 628 on the left and 850 on the right. I turn it down to, let's say, 20. Uh, we're reading 136 on the power meter and 190 on the iPhone app. So let's go right back to 60 again, and we're going to try now the um, we're going to try the paper that uh, the developer asked me to try. All right, here are the results from the 20 pound 92. Uh, brightness. This is the paper that the developer asked me to use. This is not the Walmart brand. We don't the Walmart brand not have it. This is true red. But as you see, 347 and 550 again on the iPhone. Same results here. Let's check up to 100. At 100, we're getting 637 and almost 1,000. At 20%, uh, 136 and around 220 so back to 60 again 347 550 got one more paper to try and that is the 22 pound paper that they suggest to use on the app all right now we got the 22 pound paper um, this is staples 22 pound 98 bright now I actually was not expecting this. Looks like the app is very close um, to the PhotoBio and to the Apogee. And this is at 60%. This is at 100%. And 20%. Well, I could say that uh, after an extended test, I actually wasn't going to get this paper because um, it's not what the developer asked me to get. He asked me to grab this one, but the app said to use this one. So I wasn't going to get it. I'm glad I did because the results are very close. That's $175. That is $8 or whatever it, whatever it is. Um, just make sure, I guess, if you're going to use this app, that you use the 22-pound paper because the 20-pound paper 
does not work correctly. It will not be accurate. So it looks like the 20 pound paper, uh, I'm sorry, it looks like the 22 pound paper is what you need to use this app. Anything else will give you inaccurate readings as far as I can see.